was um, kind of a little bit of a step up from GRIAC. You know, GRIAC was a big, big invitational. We had eight ranked teams at that meet, so it's going to feel similar, although obviously a little bit deeper even still than GRIAC was. Um, similar, maybe a little bigger field, but they'll be in kind of the same position. Steph will be up there towards the leaders, and, you know, Missa and then that next pack will be right in there. So it won't be too terribly different, but I think that it's just another step in that direction and another good test for where they are mid-season heading into Big Tens, regionals, nationals. So it's going to feel very similar to a national meet from last year. A lot of these guys ran at nationals last year, so they've got some experience with that. Um, but I think as a team, if we could come away with a, you know, the top 15 finish would be great. I think they're shooting for top 10. Um, and always it's kind of weird to say that because you always think like, oh, we want to win every meet we go and run in. But with the caliber of field at Wisconsin, it's going to be, you know, if we can be in the top 10, you really are doing something and, and upsetting some ranked teams. And um, But the bottom line is just have fun. It's a great course. It's a great atmosphere. And uh, the girls are just ready to roll. I think everybody's feeling good. So if they go out and have fun and run like they can run, we'll have a great weekend. Okay. So. A little bit on top of that, you, you tell them just to go out there, relax, have fun. Um, any any keys you tell them, you know, strategy-wise in a big course uh, yeah. atmosphere like this? You know, they just have to run within themselves. I think people sometimes at meets like that just get too excited and they kind of try to be the hero. Um, and if you try to be the hero, you end up being the hero at 3K and not so much the hero at 6K. So. Um, we need people to finish well and really stay in control early, find their groups, find their packs, and move well throughout the course instead of trying to, you know, win the 1K because that's not going to do anybody any good. And with the individuals that are coming in from Villanova, from Georgetown, from some of those schools, those guys have a chance to win the national title individually. So if we send people out with the top group, they're going to be hurting units towards the end. So um, it's a little different to send people, you know, that are really, really good runners to tell them you've got to go out in 100th place because for them that's like 100th place, that's terrible. But for if they can finish, we can finish our top five in the top 100, we'll have done something really, really well. So, you know, it's a little bit of a different strategy and sometimes a different mindset for them not to just go out and try to lead the field. Um, but like I said, we got good practice that at GRIAC to not, you know, be going out too crazy and not try to win win the meet at the, at the 1K. So, um, but I think, like I said, with our group, they run the best when they have fun with each other and work together and use their teammates um, and just focus on what they need to do instead of focusing on the big circus that's going to be taking place around them. So we try to tell them put their blinders on, run the race they know they can run, um, and then everything will, will turn out well in the end if they just do what they can control. So. Okay. All right. Coach Swenson, you've uh, run this course before in the past. Um, talk a little bit about the course, um, you know, a little bit of experience yourself, and what do you tell the girls you know out there? Um, the nicest thing about running at this course is that most of our team, if they haven't run at it, they've at least seen it. Um, that being the Big Ten meet was there last year, um, half our team actually ran at it. So, they, I mean, they already have their own experience, so they know kind of what to expect. But it's a very flat, very fast course. Um, it's a little short, but that's okay. It doesn't really matter in, in the end. But it's very fast. In the last 2K, I mean, that really, really goes by fast. But it's just a very smooth, you know, lots of fingers, lots of back and forth. Um, very shallow ups and downs if there's any falls at all but um, it's very fast very fun course and there's lots of places where spectators are they're just lying the course the entire time so um, hopefully we can maybe have a few flags can uh, park in the park in the course the team i think this is a great race for us to get in there and be competitive and just show kind of what we have it's a great um time to just you know either get our ranking up get some points for going into like regionals then for a bid for nationals uh, and just to like use the energy of the field there, because there's definitely going to be people to run with, you know, anywhere you are in the field. So just really like stick your nose in there, make some moves, and be smart and competitive. Okay, okay. Uh, talk about the course. You know, a little bit challenging. You know, obviously maybe not as challenging as this course, but uh, the, just the atmosphere. What do you what, what are you going to expect from the course? It's um, last year, Big Tens was at Madison, and we loved the course. It's a really fast course. Um, there's like a lot of opportunities for spectators to be there, um, so there's, it's high energy for sure. Okay. Um, yeah.